Spurrier speaking at an event for the South Carolina Football Hall of Fame. And it's happening tonight at the Embassy Suite. Sports Director Aaron Cheslock is there now getting a one-on-one -on -one with the old ball coach, Aaron. Yeah, Cody, Diana, this is a pretty cool deal to have one of the greatest coaches in college football history and the winningest coach in South Carolina football history, Steve Spurrier. Coach, thanks for taking some time with us. Uh, what's life like? I know that you're starting up back mm -hmm. on the sidelines. Did you think that when you left SC you'd coach again? What, what, what changed? Well, I knew I wouldn't coach in college. Uh, if somebody said, here's the deal, uh, it's about a four-month work uh, time. Uh, you practice a month and then play for about three months. Uh, there's no recruiting. They sort of assign the players to every team, and then we'll have a draft. So uh, I said, that sounds like my kind of deal right there. It's just all coaching, games, c competing. You know, it's amazing. All the coaches that I've been with or know that are not in coaching right now, they all want to come. They all want to come. So it's an opportunity for all of us to be on a team and compete and see if we can win that championship of the Alliance. So uh, I know I'm looking forward to it, and every, every coach I've talked to has really looked forward to it also. Now, I know that you still keep tabs on the SEC, still in an ambassador's role at Florida. When you see the way that the Gamecocks have kind of really turned a corner now. Uh, it's kind of SC and a couple others chasing Georgia right now in the East. How, what do you see from them? I know you were at the spring game. Yeah, the Gators, are, we're all probably a little behind Georgia, but gosh, it can all change in one year. We don't know. But uh, I will say Will Muschamp and Dabo uh, have done fantastic jobs. So the two coaches in the state here I think are about as good as any in the country. And uh, Will Muschamp's building that program down there, and from what I understand recruiting is on the way to really big things. Facilities up there are getting close to being as good as anybody's. And of course, Clemson's maybe got the best facilities, and Dabo and his guys do a super job. So, state of South Carolina's in good hands football-wise. I really believe that. When you think about your time with the Gamecocks, what's the thing that stands out to you most? Is it the 11 win seasons? What, what really is the thing that you hang your hat on there? Well, yeah, I'm disappointed we didn't win an SEC. We, we won a division, the only one in school history, and we had all those 11 win seasons and uh, those five in a row against Clemson, but I think the biggest thing we did was the four straight bowl wins, uh, and we had to win the bowl win of the game to uh, finish in the top ten in the country uh, three of those years, so it, that, to me that was the most important game of the year. Uh, we were fortunate to beat Nebraska and then Michigan and then Wisconsin uh, to finish in the top ten and get that 11th win, so I, I think those three right there were probably the, the things I was really most proud of that we did over the ten years or so. Going to have a packed house here with the South Carolina football Ball Hall of Fame for the folks coming out. What can they expect to hear from the head ball coach? Oh, I give my sort of usual little talk, uh, Aaron, about uh, how it happened for me as a coach. You know, I was lucky to be a college All-American and played in the NFL 10 years. And there's very few guys in coaching have, have done that. Very few. I think there's one, uh, Jim Harbaugh up at Michigan, and uh, Pat Fitzgerald was an All-American college player. I don't know anybody else like that. So I was, I was very fortunate. And what I sort of learned along the way about how winners act, talk and this, that, and the other, and how we did some things differently, uh, it, how it worked for our team. So I'll, I'll try to relay, it, relay that the best I can. All right, Coach, thank you very much. Okay, I know you're yeah. a busy man. I appreciate the time. That is Steve Spurrier, the head ball coach, a legend in the SEC, certainly in all of college football, and arguably the greatest Gamecocks coach of all time. We're going to have much more coming up tonight at 10 and 11. Until then, live from Greenville, Aaron Shuslock, Fox Carolina Sports. Guys? Aaron, thanks so much. So interesting to yeah. hear from him and hear his perspective, you know. I mean, to come at it, like he said, as a player from the NFL, uh, as a coach on so many levels, and now he has a whole new chapter ahead. Seems like he's got a pretty good gig now. Yeah. Practice one month, play a few